Tonight's matchup is heating up as the Phillies face off against the Mets in a crucial Game 3. With Wheeler on the mound against the formidable DeGrom, it's a battle of the aces. Can the Phillies keep their winning streak alive? Stay tuned to see if they can outplay the Mets once again and secure the series win. It's a showdown you won't want to miss. Hello, sports fans and baseball fans, fans of Stratomatic, everybody, anybody watching this video. This is Sportsman Z here, and I am here with game 55 of my 2020 imagined Phillies season. Today we're playing the Mets, and uh, this is the second televised Mets game. And in the last televised Mets game, Jacob, I think Jacob DeGrom was the pitcher in that one, and he is going to be the pitcher today for the Mets. We are going up against Jacob DeGrom, and we're going to be sending Zach Wheeler to the mound to take him on. Um, we come in 19 and 35, but we've won our last two. Now, in our last 10, we're four and six, uh, but that's still a better pace than we were playing at uh, previously. Um, and like I say, we, la we won the last two against the Mets. This is game 55. We are five games away from game 60. I will be doing a video where we look in depth at uh, team statistics and standings at game 60 because that's how many games the teams really played. And we can compare one to one where uh, every team is in the replay and um, where they uh, actually finished, what they did. But the Phillies are going to be nowhere near what they did in 60 games when we get to their 60-game mark. Right now, I think we're like nine games, uh, something like that, nine games worse than what we would have been, or we have nine fewer wins than they actually got by 60 games. So... I really don't see, uh, well, that's not possible. I mean, you can't win nine out of five. So even if we won like five straight, we would still be uh, off the pace. But anyway, I digress. We are going to get into this game against the Mets, divisional game. As always, you've got your um, inning marker right here. So we you can see where we are with the innings. I have the out marker over here. I will try to keep up with the out marker, but that's not always accurate. And then, of course, you've got the scores right here that we will keep it uh, up to date after each half inning. I will go over the lineups as the teams come up. The Mets will be the first team to bat. They are visiting, and uh, they will line up as uh, Andres Jimenez leading off for the Mets and playing shortstop. Then... Uh, um, Brandon Nimmo will bat second, playing left field. Pete Alonzo will be the first baseman, batting third. Michael Conforto will play right field and bat in the cleanup spot. Um, in the uh, fifth spot, I think you got, what is his name? Dominic Smith. Dominic Smith will be the DH. Robinson Cano will bat sixth and be the second baseman. Jake Marisnik is going to patrol center field for him today. J.D. Davis will be the eighth batter at third base, and then Wilson Ramos, the catcher, bats ninth. And with that, let's get on with the game. I think everything is ready to go. And that is going to be a 6-9. Jimenez is a left-handed batter against uh, Wheeler. And that is going to be a single. So Jimenez leads off, and he gets a, he gets a base hit. Now, if you remember the last, I think the last televised game uh, that we had, Wheeler was our pitcher, and he did very bad. He was out after two innings, I think. Brandon Nimmo is the batter now, and that is going to be a 2-9. Batting against a righty, it's a strikeout. So Wheeler gets a strikeout, one man down, one man on at first base. Pete Alonzo is the batter. Lots of power for him. 5-2. And uh, he is a right-handed batter, and that is going to be a walk. So now there are two batters on. There are two players on base for the Mets. And uh, Wheeler is in a little bit of trouble with Michael Conforto. 
And Conforto gets a 5-3 batting left. That's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. Wheeler is a, a 2-E-19, and that is a 10. That's going to be on the E-19. And that is a 10. So E19 and 10, and that is going to be a ground ball double play, and that is going to end the inning. So Conforto goes out uh, one, four, three, and the Mets get no runs in the first inning. And we're coming to bat. So <coughs> our lineup today. <coughs> Will be Roman Quinn leading off and playing center field, followed by Gregorius at shortstop. The third batter will be uh, JT Real Muto. And then uh, Bryce Harper is the cleanup hitter in right field, followed by Jay Bruce, the DH. Then uh, Gene Segura will be the second baseman batting sixth. Hoskins will bat seventh and be at first base. Hazley is in left field batting eighth and... Uh, Alec Baum will be the third baseman batting in the ninth spot. And we're all, we're going against DeGrom. And that is going to be a 4-8 batting right. And that's going to be a strikeout. He is a... Quinn is a switch hitter, but he still strikes out to DeGrom. And you can expect some strikeouts by DeGrom here. Didi Gregorius is coming up, and he gets a 6-10 batting left. That's going to be a fly to center. Their center fielder is a 1-E-16, because that's Marisnik. And that is a 10. And that is going to be on the E rating. So, and that's good, because it would have been out if it had not been. Six, E-16, and uh, and that is a, that's a 10. So that's going to be an E2. Two base error by Marisnik. That's key right there. So that is an E8. And then Real Muto is the batter. Uh, Real Muto, of course, lately he's been doing better. But, um, or wait a minute. Yeah. But he uh, he's still not hitting 200 for the year. 1-7, and against a righty, that is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. That's two away. And Harper is the batter. Oh, boy. Man. All right, Harper is the batter. I've got another 20 side right here. And that is a 3-6, and that is going to be a walk. So we've got two guys aboard just like the Mets had in the first. Um, and Jay Bruce is the bat. Jay Bruce with a 6-9 batting left, and that is going to be a strikeout. And DeGrom with the K. No runs come in for us. We're going to... The top of the second inning. Michael Conforto is the batter for the Mets. He gets a 2-5 against a righty, and that is going to be a single. That's a second hit allowed by Wheeler. One man on, nobody out. Dominic Smith up. He gets a 1-4. That's going to be a ground ball. Second base C. That will move Conforto over to second. Or Smith over to second. And, um, yeah, wait a minute. That was... Uh, all right, hold on. That was Smith at, at first base. And... This was a 1-4. This and actually this is Cano and he hit a single double asterisk. So runners are at the corners. Let 
Wheeler allows his third hit. There's runners at the corners with nobody out this time. Marisnik is up. Marisnik gets a 3-7. That is going to be a strikeout. So that was key. We needed the strikeout right there. We needed it huge. And uh, one down. And we're hoping for the double play here with J.D. Davis up. J.D. Davis gets a 6-5 batting right. And that's going to be... Unfortunately, that's going to be a double and knocking one run in the person of Dominic Smith. And Cano running is uh, running one to nine. So they are not going to send him. He's going to stay right where he is. Um but that's another hit allowed, and Wheeler is, again, having a poor outing here. Uh, Wilson Ramos is the batter. He gets a 3-4. That's going to be a ground ball pitcher B. Um, so the runners will hold. And um, let's see. And then he goes 1-3. to three. Which brings up the top of the order and Andres Jimenez. And that is going to be a 5-2 batting left. And that's going to be a, uh, let's see. That is going to be a home run. It's a ballpark homer. And hit, wait a minute. No, wait, wait, wait. No, it is. Jimenez has normal power. So it is. Unreal. The problems just keep on coming. Wheeler really should be a better pitcher than this, but he isn't, apparently. And that brings up Nimmo. And, of course, nobody else is on base. And that is a 110 which is going to be a triple. I mean, he is just getting jacked here. Pete Alonzo. And he gets a 4-6 batting right. And that's going to be a fly ball center. Finally and mercifully, the inning ends. But the Mets do get four runs to take a 4 nothing lead. And we have to go get the four. Put it on the uh, scoreboard. You can put it on the board. Unfortunately. So the Mets up 4 nothing with DeGrom pitching. I don't like the looks of that. Gene Segura is the batter. And we are in the bottom of the second now. And that is a 2-8. That is a ground ball to the shortstop. Segura grounds out. 6-3. Hoskins is the batter. That is, I'm going to call it a 5-7. Five, 5-7 seven, five, seven batting right. And that is going to be a fly ball center. And Hazley is the batter. And Hazley gets a 1 8, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. And we get no runs in the second. We go to the top of the third. The Mets holding a 4 0 lead with DeGrom pitching, and I'm going to keep Wheeler out there. Michael Conforto is the batter. 2-2 two, two is a hit-by-pitch plus injury, and it's a 7. I think he's out for, like, two games. So we do need a um, pinch hitter for him. and Or a pinch runner. We're going to need a pinch runner for Conforto and... Um, The pinch runner will be um, uh, let's 
see. Yeah, pinch runner will be Jeff McNeil. Dominic Smith is the batter. He gets a 4-8 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball second base A, which will be a double play. Two out. That's a 4-6-3 double play. And Cano is the batter. And that is a 4-10 batting left. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Our shortstop is a 2E20. That is a 3. Probably going to be an out. And it is. So he goes out 6-3. They get no runs there. And uh, Jeff McNeil will go in defensively for... For Conforto in right field. And McNeil is a uh, right field 3E8. So we're going to write that in. E8 with a negative one arm. So we're in the bottom of the third. Mets ahead four nothing here. Alec Baum is the bottom. He gets a five eight batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball second. There's <coughs> second baseman is a four e six. That's a three. That could be an on base there. It is a single. So. Baum gets aboard with a hit that is only the first hit off of DeGrom today. DeGrom not doing as great on the year as you would think he would do. Um, in the 60 games, or the projection for him in 60 games, would have been a 13-7 and seven record with a 281 earned run average. But his actual ERA in this replay is a whole run higher than that at 391. And... Um, Quinn, the amazing Quinn, is the next batter. He gets a 5-5 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. That's one away. One out, one on. Gregorius up. He gets a 4-8 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. And that brings to the plate JT Real Music. And he gets a 4-2 batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball right field. F9 flies out. We go to the top of the fourth. I'm still keeping right. Wheeler out there. I mean, until we make it a much closer game or even take, you know, possibly take the lead or tie it or whatever. Cano is the batter. 6-12, batting left. That is going to be a fly to left. The left fielder is a 3-E, e, or wait, is a 3-E-1 for us. That is a 10. So it's going to be on the E-10, or on the, uh, it's going to be on the E-1. E All right, well, that's not bad. Two, uh-oh, that is bad. Wait a minute. It's an it's a three base error one and a fly ball two to six. All right. And it is gonna be a fly ball. So and that was actually Mariznik. Uh, Mariznik flies out. Um Yeah, he flies out to left. J.D. Davis is the batter. He gets a 3-5. That's going to be a strikeout. Wheeler striking out his third guy. 
Wheeler's settling down now, but he gave up those four runs, and those were going to be possibly devastating. Ramos is the batter, Wilson Ramos. He gets a 4-4 batting right, and that is going to be a, let's see, for a righty, that is going to be an out. It's going to be a line out to second base. Bottom of the fourth, still 4 nothing. Bryce Harper is the batter. He gets a 2-8, and that is going to be a home run. So Bryce Harper gets us on the board. That's nice. Going to need a lot more of those. But DeGrom gives up his second hit and first run of the game. Jay Bruce is up. Jay Bruce gets a 1-8. That's going to be a ground ball to first base. Gene Segura is up. Segura gets a 2-6. That's going to be a walk. Well, now at least we're getting some guys on here. Reese Hoskins is the batter. He gets a 2-9. That's going to be a strikeout. So that's two down. DeGrom with his fifth strikeout of the game here in the fourth. And Hazley is up. Hazley gets a 4-7 batting left. And that is going to be a strikeout. So we get one run. I'll go get the one run. And it's four to one. Normally, we I would say we would be in this game, but Degrom is the pitcher. Remember that for the Mets. Um, Andres Jimenez is the batter, top of the uh, Mets lineup. Gets a four eight batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball second base. So he goes out four to three. Nimmo is up. He gets a 3-5. That's going to be a walk. And Wheeler walks the man. And Pete Alonzo is the batter. Pete Alonzo, 4-8, batting right. That's going to be a fly ball left. So that's two down. Runner at uh, first base for the Mets. And Jeff McNeil is the batter. And he gets a 2-6. And that's going to be a pop out to second. So the Mets do not get any. They get a runner on, but they don't get any runs. We go to the bottom of the fifth in a 4-1 game. Alec Baum is the batter. He gets a 3-6. That's a single. Third hit allowed by DeGrom. Runner aboard, Roman Quinn. <clears throat> he gets a 6-8. Batting right. That's going to be a strikeout. So Quinn has struck out all three times. He probably wasn't the best choice for this uh, this particular pitcher. One down, Gregorius is up. He gets a 1-5, and that's a single double asterisk. So we've got runners at the corners. I don't know. We might make a we might be able to slowly chomp into this lead. As I said, DeGrom is really underperforming his card by a whole run. And Real Muto is about it. And he gets a 5-6 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. So that's the second out. Eighth strikeout of the game for DeGrom and Harper up. He homered last time, and this time he is going to be out. Fly ball deep to left field, but it's an out.
and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Oh, so close there. Wheeler's still out there. I mean, Wheeler now is dealing, but th those four runs could be critical. Dominic Smith is the batter. He gets a 4-3. And 4-3 batting left is going to be a fly to right. He is a 2-E3. That is an 18, probably an out. And it is. He flies out to Harper. Cano is up. Cano gets a 4-8, batting left. That's going to be a ground ball second. He goes out 4-3. And Marisnik is the batter. Marisnik today 0 for 2. He's flown out to left and struck out. And he gets a 6-5 batting right. And that is going to be a home run. Is it a home? It is. Marisnik hits a home run. So really didn't need that. Second home run allowed by Wheeler. And J.D. Davis up. And he gets a 4-7 batting right. And that's going to be a strikeout. So uh, the uh, Mets get another run in the... Uh, or wait a minute. Let's see. That was a 0. Yeah. No, that was a 1. That was a 1. And then that's a 0 in the 6th. We got a 0 in the 6th. And then the Mets got... Another run. Oh, God. In the, in the sixth, the Mets got another run. All right. So that was, yeah, that was the Mets. Now we're in the bottom of the sixth. I was an inning behind there, but uh, we still got the correct score out there. With the Mets leading five to one currently, and uh, Jay Bruce is the batter in the bottom of the sixth. Going to have to have some runs really quickly here. Two nine is going to be a strikeout for Bruce. Degrom strikes out his ninth guy. Segura is up. Segura gets a 3-8 ground ball to the pitcher. He goes out 1-3, and that brings up Hoskins. Hoskins gets a 6-12 batting right. And that's going to be a fly to left. The left fielder is a 3-E6. That's an 8. That's going to be on the uh, air rating. And that's a five on an E6. And that's going to be a two base error. So Hoskins is on with a two base error by the, um, what was that? The, uh, I think it was a left fielder. And Hazley is up. Man at second. Two down. And Hazley up. And he gets a 2-3, which is going to be a fly to right. No runs come in for us in the sixth. We go to the top of the seventh. Um, I am going to take, let's see, Ramos is the batter. I'm going to take Wheeler out of the game. He only goes six. Six not very good innings. He gives up five runs.
Going to bring in Brandon Workman. He is a workman. And the Mets will send up, as I said, uh, here in the top of the seventh, Ramos to lead it up. 1-4 is going to be a walk. Workman walks the very first guy he faces, and it's, it's going to be downhill from there. Jimenez gets a 4-8 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. Workman with the K. One out. Runner at first, Brandon Nimmo up. Nimmo gets a 2-6. That's going to be a walk. Second walk issued by Workman, not surprisingly. Pete Alonzo is the batter. He gets a 5-6 batting right. That is going to be a walk. <laughs> Shocker. So Workman has managed to walk the bases loaded with only one out. And uh, Jeff McNeil. And he gets a 2-8, which is going to be a ground ball first double play. So that is exactly what they needed. They needed the uh, the old one six three double play to end the inning and get um, get us back on offense. Still only down by four runs. And Alec Baum is the batter. Um, Degrom is still out there. Alec Baum. Gets a 1-2. That's going to be a single. So Alec Baum today is, can I just tell you, he's 3-for-3. Three three, so he owns DeGrom. DeGrom's only given up five hits. Three of them have been to Baum. Roman Quinn is up. He gets a 6-11. He hasn't fared so well against him. That's a fly ball center field. One away. Gregorius is the batter. He gets a 3-5. That's going to be a pop-out to the shortstop. And Real Muto is the batter. And he gets a 6-3 batting right. And that is going to be a... That's going to be a ballpark single, and it is. So we got two runners on with two out. And Bryce Harper up. That's a situation you absolutely want. He gets a 6-6 six, six batting left. And that's going to be a strikeout. Yeah. DeGrom strikes out his 10th guy. 10th and probably last guy, as he will probably only go 7 And we go to the um, top of the eighth. Workman is still going to be the pitcher. Dominic Smith is the batter. He gets a 2-2. That is going to be a single. Robinson Cano up. Cano gets a 6-6 six, six batting left. That is going to be a home run. Cano hits a home run. Nice. Third home run that we've allowed as a pitching staff to the Mets. Jake Marisnik up. Jake Marisnik has a home run, has one of those home runs himself. That is a 4-5 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. J.D. Davis is up, 
and he gets a 2-4, and that's going to be a strikeout. And Wilson Ramos is the batter. And he gets a 3-6, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop. But the Mets do get two more runs. They strike for two more, which is, seems like it's probably going to be insurmountable at this point because we're now losing by the score of 7-1. And um, they are going to take DeGrom out. As we bat in the bottom of the eighth, so DeGrom only goes seven. And they will bring in Justin Wilson to pitch. Justin Wilson, the left-hander. And we've got Jay Bruce batting against him. He gets a 5-8 batting left. And that's going to be a fly ball to left. One out. And Segura. Segura gets a 4-8 batting right. That is going to be a double. So, I mean, I don't know why I'm getting excited, because there's nothing to get excited about. We've got to have six runs, which even off of lesser pitchers than um, DeGrom is going to be a tall order for two innings. Rice Hoskins is the batter 2-7 against a lefty. That's going to be a walk. So, um, Hoskins... No, not Hoskins. But anyway, Hoskins walks. I mean, and it was Hoskins that walked, but I was thinking that he was bomb, but he isn't. Two guys on, and uh, only one out, and Hazley is the bad. Hazley with a 2-8 gets a ground ball pitcher double play. So the 1-6-3 double play takes us out of the inning. We go to the top of the ninth. Um... And uh, Workman is going to come out. He only goes two. And uh, Jojo Rom Romero is going to be the, the pitcher. And... Jimenez is the batter. We're at the top of the Mets lineup. He gets a 6-4 batting left. And that's going to be a catcher card. Catcher is a 1. That is a 6. That is going to be a, a wild pitch followed by a pop-out. Pop-out 2 and Nimmo up. Nimmo gets a 6-8 batting left. That's going to be a strikeout. And Pete Alonso. And he gets a 2-10, and that is a ground ball second base. The Mets get no runs. But we have to get six right here in order to uh, tie this game and send it to extra innings. So Alec Baum is a bear. He's perfect on the day. And he gets a 5-5. Five, five, and that's a strikeout. So that ruins his perfect day. Wilson with the K. First uh, strikeout for him. Roman Tana. Quinn gets a 6-6 six, six batting uh, right, and that's going to be a strikeout. Second strikeout for him. And Gregorius is the batter. 
He gets a 5'11 batting left, and that's going to be a fly to left. The left fielder for the Mets is a 3E6. That is a 5. 5 and 3, that's a single. So we're staying alive by the skin of our butts. And uh, let's see. And Real Muto is the batter. Real Muto gets a 2-9, and that is going to be a ground ball shortstop. He's out 6-3, and we lose the game. Not surprisingly, it's been our MO. Uh, we lose it big, though, 7-1. to one. And uh, the loser, losing pitcher is Wheeler. The winning pitcher is DeGrom. And there was no save in this game. And that will be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.